Hey guys, welcome back to the business of art. So today I'm going to go over some things that I think pretty much every artist should have when actually being a professional artist and making a business out of their art. So the first thing is social media pages and not just one, but really as many as you can. And for right now, I would say probably the main ones that you really should have are at least a Facebook and Instagram but also a Twitter if you can. But I would say at least Facebook and Instagram. And um, I've seen some people starting out with selling their art that don't have any social media establishment. Well, it's gonna be very difficult for people to find you and also to kind of take you seriously as someone that's selling art. And social media is also a great place to sell art. And even if you're not selling art on social media, let's say you don't do that at all really, but you go to art fairs, it's still a point of professionalism. People are going to say, hey, are you on Facebook or whatnot? You know, they're going to want to find you and follow you and maybe they'll want to buy a piece later or another piece. You know what I mean? So social media is really important for saying, yes, I'm here. I'm serious. This is a business for me. You know what I mean? Not just a hobby. Um, so then the other thing is business cards. You want ways for people to contact you later on. You don't want them to be like, oh, that's an amazing painting. Okay, bye. You know what I mean? Like you want ways for them to contact you later on. And people may think that that's never going to happen, but that's not true. I have people that I've given my business card to months ago and they call me up, you know, six months later and they go, okay, I'm ready to want to buy that painting. You know what I mean? It does absolutely happen and it's great for repeat customers. It's great to get people that uh, following you on social media. Having a business card that has your your name, probably a sample of your work on there, your, you know, your Facebook, Instagram, and contact info of however you want them to contact you. Usually an email is good. Um, so those are a couple things. Then some other things that are really great to have are um, a website uh, because once again that screams I'm serious about this as this a business and there are tons of ways that you can make websites for virtually free or super cheap. Um, so there's like WordPress is really good. There's Wix.com is really good. Um, and you can even search like free platforms, you know, for making art. There's also uh, ones that are super cheap, like you could set up an Etsy store and they could actually make kind of a website for you. So there's a lot of ways around that, but it definitely, um, you know, screams professionalism and I would get your own domain name. <laughs> so pick your artist name and get a domain name. And then the last thing is an artist bio. A lot of times people are not necessarily buying the art, they're buying the artist. So I think an artist bio is really important. Telling people what you're about, where you came from, how you got started. Uh, obviously accolades and stuff like that are great, like what shows you've been in or any awards you've won. But even without that, just saying, you know, I, I've been doing art for blah amount of years now it really speaks to me you know I'm passionate about color and and aesthetics and whatever you know what I mean just speak from the heart uh, about yourself and your kind of journey as an artist that would go up on your website it would go on your um, social media and then also if you are doing a show it's a great thing to print out and hang up so like if you're doing a show even at a local coffee shop let's say where you're hanging your art print out your bio and put it on the wall there along with a stack of business cards. You know what I mean? So those are my kind of like four steps to get started as a professional artist recommendations. Um, if there are any others that you as a professional artist, anyone watching this feel that people really need to have, definitely let me know down in the comments. I'm always open to suggestions and things that I may not have thought of right away, but I think those are kind of the four basic kind of must-haves. All right, guys, I will see you next time.